the Auto Celera 500L and the Piaggio P180. Avanti represent opposite ends of modern aviation innovation. One is a daring newcomer redefining efficiency through advanced aerodynamics, while the other is a tried and true icon that combines Italian engineering and jet-like performance in a turboprop platform. Now let's start. Number one, cabin configuration and design. For its class, the EE Auto Celera 500L boasts an extraordinarily spacious cabin that can accommodate six passengers in a configuration that prioritizes comfort above density. With around five feet five inches of stand-up headroom throughout the bulk of the cabin, the fuselage's distinctive bullet-shaped structure translates into enormous internal capacity. With lots of room between rows, the seating design often comprises club-style chairs that may be configured for meetings or leisure. The cabin's 15-foot length, unusual for an economy-class aircraft, creates an open, unfettered feel. With its three lifting surface design, the Piaggio P180 Avanti takes a different approach, moving the primary wing further back and providing a cabin that is nearly jet-like in size. With a cabin width of 6 feet 1 inch and a height of 5 feet 9 inches, it can seat up to 9 people in executive configuration, making it one of the biggest turboprops ever built. With a length of over 17 feet, the cabin offers full walk-around comfort. Passengers enjoy unlimited space since there is no normal wing spar intrusion throughout the whole length of the flat floor. The Avanti has been referred to as a turboprop since its inception, despite the fact that its cabin resembles that of a mid-sized jet. Number 2. Interior Materials and Finishes The Celera 500LO embodies auto aviation's ideal of streamlined efficiency, however exact interior finish details remain secret as the aircraft approaches certification. Early prototypes and advertising materials point to a clean, modern look with lightweight composite panels, LED lighting systems, and contemporary textiles chosen for durability and weight savings. The emphasis appears to be on practical elegance rather than conspicuous luxury, with materials chosen to suit the aircraft's efficiency purpose while yet creating a pleasant professional workplace. Expect finishes that follow current aircraft design principles, with a focus on ease of maintenance and longevity. The P-180 Avanti has benefited from decades of refining and many generations of interior modifications. Piaggio's executive and luxury interior kits provide substantial personalization, including quality Italian leather upholstery, beautiful wood veneers in a variety of finishes, wool carpeting, and hand-stitched embellishments throughout. The panels use sound-dampening materials wrapped with leather or Alcantara. LED mood lighting is adjustable throughout the cabin, and the galley area has polished metal accents and stone-like composite surfaces. The Avanti's cabin has been compared to business jets costing twice as much, with a focus on detail that reflects Italian design sensibilities. Number 3. In-Cabin Entertainment and Connectivity The second Celera 500L Kinstoni, which is now in the last phases of development, is designed to accommodate modern networking requirements envisaged in 2025-era aircraft. While particular features have not been fully disclosed, the aircraft's design philosophy and target market point to the inclusion of high-speed internet access via satellite systems, personal device integration, and digital cabin management. The emphasis will most likely be on bringing your own device solutions that save weight while increasing functionality, such as USB-C charging at every seat, wireless device mirroring to cabin screens, and cloud-based entertainment access rather than hefty onboard servers. The P180 Avanti Evo, the current production variant, is outfitted with extensive entertainment systems, including high-definition monitors that can be integrated into the cabin design, full cabin audio systems with multiple zones, and connectivity options such as SATCOM for voice and data. The newest Avantis may be outfitted with K-band satellite internet, which offers broadband speeds equivalent to ground-based connections. The cabin management system manages lighting, temperature, window blinds, and entertainment via touchscreen interfaces or personal devices. Piaggio has kept up with business jet standards, 
providing configurable options ranging from basic to ultra-premium, according to the owner's wishes. Number 4. Noise Reduction and Cabin Environment The Celera 500 Elzort pusher-propeller architecture moves the engine and propeller to the back of the fuselage, considerably changing the cabin noise profile. This design automatically shields passengers from the majority of the propeller noise and engine vibration that typical turboprops generate. The laminar flow design considerably reduces airframe noise, and the extensive use of composites provides natural dampening. Preliminary studies suggest that the cabin will be exceptionally quiet for a piston-powered aircraft, possibly rivaling turbofan jets in terms of perceived noise levels. The pressurization system maintains a respectable cabin altitude, however specific performance statistics are currently pending certification. The Celera 500L's pusher-propeller architecture moves the engine and propeller to the back of the fuselage, considerably changing the cabin noise profile. This design automatically shields passengers from the majority of the propeller noise and engine vibration that typical turboprops generate. The laminar flow design considerably reduces airframe noise, and the extensive use of composites provides natural dampening. Preliminary studies suggest that the cabin will be exceptionally quiet for a piston-powered aircraft, possibly rivaling turbofan jets in terms of perceived noise levels. The pressurization system maintains a respectable cabin altitude, however specific performance statistics are currently pending certification. Number 5. Cockpit and Avionics The Gaia Celera 500 ELL The cockpit is being developed to meet current glass cockpit standards, with large format displays and integrated flight management systems suitable for single pilot operations with extensive automation. Given the aircraft's efficiency goal and target market, anticipate advanced flight planning tools that maximize fuel consumption and range, terrain awareness and weather avoidance systems that satisfy current FAA regulations, and synthetic vision systems. The design philosophy envisions a clean, uncomplicated cockpit area that lowers pilot effort while giving complete situational awareness. Specific avionics suites will be disclosed nearer to approval. The P-180, Avanti Evo includes the Rockwell Collins Proline 21 avionics package, which has been standard for the current generation. This has three 10-inch screens that provide primary flight, multifunction, and engine information with complete redundancy. The system includes sophisticated weather radar, traffic collision avoidance, improved ground proximity warning, and full navigation with WAAS capable GPS and LPV approaches. The Avanti is certified for a single pilot flight in specific configurations. However, most operators fly with two crew members. The cockpit arrangement is ergonomic and straightforward, thanks to continuous refinements made throughout the model's 30-plus year production run. Number 6. Advanced Safety Features The Rosellera 500L is being developed under a FAR Part 23 certification standards, which means it will meet modern safety requirements such as crashworthy design elements, advanced materials that provide structural integrity while reducing weight, and comprehensive redundancy in critical systems. The aircraft's low stall speed and benign handling characteristics help to increase safety margins, while the pusher layout reduces propeller strike issues during takeoff and landing. Emergency systems shall meet or exceed existing certification criteria, such as sophisticated fire detection and suppression, backup power systems, and emergency escape plans. The laminar flow design offers a good view from the cockpit while minimizing blind areas. The P-180 Avanti has decades of operating safety data and ongoing advancements. It has dual redundant systems for all important functions, ice protection systems for wings, tail surfaces, engine inlets and propellers, extensive traffic and terrain awareness systems that satisfy current regulations and proven crashworthy constructions. The aircraft's three-surface design provides superior control redundancy, and the high-wing loading helps to maintain stability in turbulence. The Avanti's safety record has evolved during its service life, with ongoing upgrades resolving early generation concerns. The aircraft satisfies rigorous EASA and FAA certification requirements and is certified for operating under known icing conditions. 
Number seven, performance and efficiency, the Sexcelera 500LT marks a paradigm leap in aviation efficiency with performance targets that appear nearly impossible for a piston engine aircraft. Auto aviation claims a cruising speed of 460 miles per hour on only 18 to 25 gallons of fuel per hour, which equates to around 18 to 25 miles per gallon, revolutionary in aviation. This efficiency stems from the radical laminar flow design which cuts drag by up to 80% compared to conventional aircraft. The predicted range is more than 4,500 nautical miles, allowing for full transcontinental flights without refueling. For operating flexibility, the aircraft is powered by a Red A03V12 diesel engine, rated at roughly 500 horsepower and running on Jet A gasoline. The maximum cruising altitude is around 50,000 feet, which puts it in the flying altitudes generally designated for jets. These figures, if realized in production, would transform the economics of private aircraft. The Omar 180 Avanti Evo boasts outstanding performance thanks to its twin Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-666B turboprops, each with 850 shaft horsepower. The maximum cruising speed is 402 knots, 463 miles per hour, making it the fastest commercially certified turboprop in production. It accomplishes this while burning around 90 gallons per hour overall at ordinary cruising speeds, producing five to six nautical miles per gallon. The range with basic fuel is about 1,470 nautical miles with IFR reserves which may be expanded to more than 1,700 nautical miles with extra tanks. The aircraft can reach 41,000 feet and operates efficiently at lower flight altitudes where jets cruise. Time to climb performance is remarkable, reaching 31,000 feet in just 22 minutes. The Avanti's efficiency is around 30 to 40% higher than comparable cabin class light planes, but nothing near the Celera's predicted statistics. Number 8. Exterior and Aerodynamics The RA Celera 500L is easily identifiable by its unusual teardrop fuselage form, which is intended for laminar flow across as much of the surface as feasible. This gives it a distinct submarine-like look that is unlike anything else in civil flight. The wing is high-mounted and carefully designed to ensure laminar flow, with a specific airfoil and smooth surface finish that are key to the design's effectiveness. The pusher propeller layout at the tail reduces drag from nacelles in front of the wing while generating thrust in clear air. The retractable landing gear tucks fully flush against the fuselage, leaving no protrusions. Every feature, from the form of the canopy to the exact shapes of the tail surfaces, contributes to the aim of minimizing drag. The aircraft is around 30 feet long and has a wingspan of nearly 42 feet. It is completed with pristine paint that requires particular preparation to prevent interrupting laminar flow. The P-180 Avanti is one of aviation's most unique designs, noticeable from all angles. The three-lifting surface layout consists of a tiny forward wing, canard, a mid-mounted main wing, and a conventional tail with horizontal stabilizer. This configuration gives outstanding aerodynamic efficiency and allows the main wing to be positioned well aft, resulting in that incredible cabin room. The twin pusher propellers are installed on streamlined nacelles that extend behind the main wing, each containing a PT-6 turboprop. The wing has a supercritical airfoil designed for high-speed cruising, while winglets at the tips decrease induced drag. The fuselage is thin and attractive, with a unique nose design that houses the weather radar. The overall image is sleek and purposeful, with a length of 47 feet and a wingspan of 46 feet. The Avanti's exterior has aged exceptionally well, remaining futuristic and aggressive decades after its initial design. Number 9. Baggage Space Despite its emphasis on aerodynamic economy, the e Celera 500 Ellens offers enough luggage capacity. The precise capacity estimates have not been confirmed. However, the aircraft has an interior baggage space accessible via an exterior door, 
with an estimated capacity of 300 to 400 pounds of luggage. This should meet the normal requirements for six people on work travels or weekend excursions. The design promotes people above cargo space, thus travelers with large bags should be aware of the constraints. The luggage room is environmentally controlled and accessible in flight via an interior bulkhead, allowing passengers to collect goods while cruising. The P-180 Avanti has remarkable baggage capacity for its class, with roughly 42 cubic feet of storage space to accommodate up to 700 pounds of luggage. The luggage compartment is located in the nose and is accessible by a wide exterior door. It is climate controlled and may be accessed during flight via an interior door. This spacious capacity can readily accommodate the luggage demands of a full passenger complement for long excursions, such as golf equipment, skis, or business supplies. Additional storage can be configured within the cabin itself using various interior layouts. The Avanti's luggage capacity is comparable to that of bigger aircraft, making it suitable for serious travel rather than short excursions. Number 10. Cost of Ownership if auto aviation meets its manufacturing and performance objectives, the seller of 500 Lucan DECs has the potential to be a game changer. The expected purchase cost is between $2 million and $3 million, putting it on par with high-performance single-engine turboprops and twin-piston aircraft while providing jet-like performance. Operating costs are expected to be revolutionary, with fuel usage ranging from 20 to 25 gallons per hour at cruise, corresponding to only a few $100 each flight hour for gasoline alone. The diesel engine operating on Jet A is intended to have a longer life between overhauls than standard aircraft piston engines, perhaps 3,000 hours or more, lowering maintenance reserve needs. Given the aircraft's benign handling and safety measures, insurance costs should be reasonable. However, premiums will vary depending on operational experience once in service. Hangar fees will be usual for an aircraft of size. The overall operating cost, including both fixed and variable expenditures, might be less than $500 per flight hour, which would be transformational for this performance category. However, these figures will not be validated until production aircraft collect real-world operational data. The P-180 Avanti Evo demands a larger investment, with current prices ranging from $7 million to $8 million for a new aircraft, although well-maintained second-hand versions may be obtained for $2 million to $5 million, depending on age and condition. Operating expenses range from $1,200 to $1,600 each flight hour, which includes fuel, maintenance reserves, insurance, and variable expenditures. Fuel generally costs between $400 and $500 per hour, depending on pricing and power levels. The PT-6 engines have proven to be reliable workhorses, with predictable maintenance costs and TBO intervals of 3,600 hours. However, the Avanti has received criticism for higher-than-expected maintenance costs due to its unique design characteristics, notably the propeller gearbox systems, which have historically proven costly to repair. Because of the aircraft's specialized nature and the restricted number of trained pilots, insurance rates are greater than those for standard turboprops. Piaggio has attempted to enhance part support and standardize maintenance methods, but operators should budget carefully. Annual fixed expenditures for insurance, hangar, and administration often range from $100,000 to $200,000 or more, depending on the operational profile. For operators that want proven performance right now, enjoy the roomy cabin and jet-like speed, and can handle the expenses and complexity, the Mi Avanti C, and she is still a superb choice that has stood the test of time. For those prepared to wait and take some risks in exchange for possibly revolutionary efficiency and operating costs, the t Cellera 500LL is one of the most intriguing breakthroughs in general aviation in decades. The better airplane is ultimately determined by your time frame, risk tolerance, money, and whether you expect proven performance or paradigm shifting innovation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.